Alright, so we're all familiar with the frustration that scripting causes. Yeah, I'm referring to those moments you just want to throw your computer out the window. Well, luckily for your computer man, I've come to help you out to make scripting seem a little bit easier. Today we're going to be discussing three things that really helped me make more progress on scripting and also made my journey smoother and less frustrating. But first, let me tell you a quick story. Okay, so back in early 2021 when I had little to no experience with scripting, I remember I'd be there sitting on my desk with my PC just scripting and everything would seem like a normal day. You know, sun's out, sky's clear, but it happens. The thing I'm trying to script is not working and if you're a scripter then you know what happens next. I try different alternatives to see if it finally does what I want the script to do but all my efforts are in vain. Nothing seems to be working. Slowly but surely you start getting more and more frustrated and then it gets to the point where you just Nah, I really thought I was gonna do that to my PC. Nah, we're too broke for that. Hell no. <laughs> Back to the story. My frustration would get to a point, bro, where I would actually think that some Roblox higher-ups were purposely ruining and shifting the way coding works so I don't get to do what I'm trying to do. Stupid! Imagine having this level of delusion and rage, bro. I don't know who I thought I was. I was not cooking nothing. Nada at the time. I thought I was gangster because I could move two bricks. I'm telling you, Roblox higher-ups would have been better off just watching the marvels and bro you know it's bad when i'm telling you they'd be better off watching a trash movie like that bro sometimes i would be with a friend on discord and i'd just rage and be like why the f can i make this you know what bro i'm out you. Daddy, chill. I would really leave the call like that. I ain't capping. This said, let's start with my tip number one that will make scripting easier. If you don't know how to do something, just Google it. I've said this in previous videos before. If you're trying to make something or trying to make a script do a specific thing, or maybe you just find an error that you don't understand, even if you're just unsure of how a feature works, even if it seems obvious, just type it on Google. It sounds hella obvious, but me at least, I only started doing this in like the past year. Previous to this, I tried to figure everything out on my own. When the reality of the matter is, almost any issue you come across, someone else has already had it and solved it, and you can just take a look at it for free. Let's move on. Number two, minimize your brain fog. Listen, I know you were not expecting this to be on the list, but hear me out. Okay, so we all know that scripting is something that really uses your brain power. You want to make sure that your brain can operate at full capacity when you're scripting this is extremely important and no one will talk about this because it's not a magic trick that you can suddenly use to get better you know everyone wants to talk about plugins cheat codes tips and tricks stuff but this is the most important thing i promise you i know that you were not expecting something like this to be on the list but just stick with me here for a while to clarify what brain fog is brain fog is basically when your mind just goes blank either completely or maybe you're just trying to remember something but you can't but also another very interesting and sneaky way of brain fog is just the malfunction of your thinking in general and this includes your logical thinking of course which is what you use the most while you're trying to script but what makes this so dangerous is that you won't even realize that you're not even operating at full capacity most of the time in order for you to understand let me tell you this there's been countless times late at night for example where i've been very tired but still trying to code and what ends up happening is that i either can't code what i'm trying to code at all or i code it but the code ends up real messy what's actually interesting is that the next morning when i wake up i'm not only able to completely make or fix whatever i was trying to make the night before but i also get it done faster and a lot quicker this means that when i was trying to code something the night before i was not even noticing that i was operating at half of my full capacity at most you don't want to code when you're really tired and you want to make sure you're getting your eight hours of sleep to minimize your brain fog you might actually be operating at half of your capacity right now without even realizing are you sleep deprived is it 2 a.m in the morning have you had a long day now i get that there are some times that you just can't stop scripting because you got a long list of things to do what i've actually started doing that's actually much better is just get the easy tasks done just when you're tired or sleep deprived and leave the heavier tasks just for when you have a lot more energy so you can power through them and i promise you if you minimize your brain fog you will be able to power through a significant amount of the heavy tasks i promise you i know it sounds obvious like whoa what a genius but chances are you might not be doing this even though you know you should and it's just really gonna make things 10 times harder and then the third and last thing that i will mention in this video that will also make your scripting a lot easier is write down what you want to do and what i mean by this is not only say like okay so i want to create a fireball and then you write down i want to make a fireball no <laughs> no 
you want to plan the things that you'd have to do in order for you to create that fireball spell and just write that down either in a notepad in your computer or whatever really this is especially useful when you're doing something that you haven't really done before don't just go fully improvising on what you should do unless you're absolutely certain you actually know what you're trying to do and you know that you know what you're doing make almost like a plan you could even do a little bit of research write down different ways you could go about it for example with the fireball spell i'm gonna use seafrain to position the fireball in front of the character then how am i gonna move the fireball a lot of body velocity maybe i could try twinning if that fails then let the event that detects the fireball has been touched and then it'll damage you you get what i'm saying obviously this is a very simple example but you get the point it could be seen as extra work but it actually gives you a clear roadmap of what you have to do therefore saving you a lot of time and of course the more experienced you are the less you'll need this but still it's a great thing that you could do to save time and energy because now you won't be spending energy trying to remember what to do next or how you were going to do things everything's just a lot smoother now right anyways that's all i got for today bro apply these things if you want scripting to feel a lot easier keep leveling up be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace